Hey everyone, I'm so happy to bring you this amazing video. The disturbance is just caused by uh, Silverback kissing me out there, a 26 year old father giving out. This little infant gorilla is nearly six months old. She was born to her 11 year old first time mother, which by reports and later confirmed is that she's female and her name is Moby. Her name was chosen by the Cameroon school kids and also voted on by the Czech people. Moby was born to Mother Dunny this year at the end of January and already she's been trying to get into trouble. Uh, normally by now a nanny would be also helping the new mommy out, but Dunny will not let Moby out of her sight. She will not let her two inches more and she's still carrying her everywhere. In the wild, sadly, the western lowland gorilla's population is critically endangered. They've been plagued by exceptional high levels of disease and hunting, and as a result, the population decline is over 60% in the last 20 to 25 years. Even if all the threats to the western lowland gorillas were removed, scientists calculate that the population would take 75 years to recover. Did you know that a baby gorilla is called an infant? Like a tiger is called a cub. And like us, human babies are called an infant. Mothers will breastfeed a baby for up to three to four years, again like us. Gorillas are born much smaller than humans, just over a kilo in weight. They're extremely vulnerable. But they begin to sit up and walk around just like Moby here at about three to four months. The mother will still carry the baby up to six months old, and then Moby will carry Mummy on her back. Or sorry, Mummy will carry Moby on her back for the next couple of years, four to six years approximately. It's just so fascinating to see how a gorilla mother actually looks after her baby and how she carries her baby around. Like she's carrying the baby is latched onto her hand and she's carrying her own by that, or else later on you'll see that she's on her back. Now this little bundle of joy is even younger. This is two and a half month old. She was born to five time mother and 30 year old Kivu if I'm pronouncing her name and of course Kismu is her father. In the wild western lowland gorillas are broadly distributed across the Congo Basin and more or less continuously distributed across the countries of Gabon, Central African Republic, Cameroon, Angola. Equatorial Guinea and the Congo and Rwanda. The reason why I'm saying this is because last Saturday, Jane Goodall, a world-renowned primatologist and nature conservationist, baptised the baby Western Lowland gorilla born to Kivu, ah, Prague Zoo. The baby was named Gaia, which means Mother Earth. When it's eight years old, why is a baby getting baptised, or why is a baby gorilla getting baptised? But this is a tradition in Rwanda to baptize all new baby gorillas. They don't do it to the gorillas specifically. There's people in gorilla suits in their place and they do it to show their commitment to conservationists and ecotourism to try and help save the population of Western lowland gorillas in that area. It's kind of funny in comparison Kivu is already lending her baby out to her half-sister, Shinda. The situation is due to the close relationship between the two gorillas and they've lived together all their lives. So Shinda will look after Gaia every so often when mommy needs a break. Folks, if you enjoyed this content, please hit the like button as it will help me out an awful lot. And also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe would be absolutely fantastic it's completely free and it'll just help me out for future videos i have a lot of videos which are shot in prague zoo and i want to bring them all to you so please if you like this video give it a like more people get to see you and more views i get thank you so much now back to the video here's five fun facts about the western lowland gorillas the silverbacks are responsible for leading the group in nesting eating and traveling across their native range Western lowland gorillas can actually be distinguished from other gorillas by a prominent ridge on the brow. These gorillas are typically quiet animals, 
but they have 22 different kinds of vocalizations. An adult male will eat between 40 or 50 pounds of food every day, while a female will eat three and a half and two thirds of that amount. Gorillas have a unique nose print in the same way that humans have unique fin fingerprints. Any time that I get to see an infant gorilla or an infant orangutan is an absolute plus for me. Folks, if you enjoyed this content, you might like Google's next recommendation. I have a couple of videos there on Western Lowland gorillas, including youngsters. Um, I'll link them down in the description for you, and also I'll link them. They should be on screen sometime now. Thank you so much for watching. It was a pleasure to bring this to you and just let you know next Friday. Just to give you the heads up, next week's video is going to be on an infant orangutan and also a juvenile orangutan. So stick around and check that one out. Again, thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one, folks. Stay safe. Bye for now. Bye-bye.